What's going on everybody? This is MYG Jeffy T3285 and I had to make this video right now because to be honest, I'm getting a little tired of this Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving story going round and round in the circles right now and Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving thinking that they could just dictate their way out of Brooklyn because of criticism that they're getting from the outside because of the fact that they want to be part of a winning team they don't want to be in Brooklyn anymore because of everything that's going on around them well here's the facts guys here's the facts Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving you signed to come here you guys chose to come to Brooklyn and Kevin Durant you signed a four-year extension to stay with Brooklyn for the next four years afterwards and Kyrie Irving you opted into your contract you guys have no leverage right now to go anywhere and the best thing to do right now is to just hold it out go into next season see what you guys can do Kyrie Irving you'll be a free agent after this year if you don't ink an extension Kevin Durant you're signed four more years you're not going anywhere the Nets don't have to trade you just because you want to be traded now, of course, you could sit out, as well as you, Kyrie Irving. You guys could sit out, and you don't have to play. And you guys could just collect your money, but at the same time, you'd be missing out on another year or however much of your career. So, I just don't understand, you know, and this is something that Adam Silver made note of it last night when he made his uh, response that, he, he made his response to Kevin Durant's, tra uh, you know, requesting a trade and saying that the owners need to start taking back this league. The owners in the NBA need to start taking back control from the players in this league. And these players can't just continue to go out there and just force a trade to wherever they want to go because they either not happy or because they want the easy way out and go form a super team with another team out there like Kevin Durant wants to do right now where he wants to go to Phoenix or Miami because he feels like that's the best chance for him to win a championship because those have teams have better players put together well guess what if you want you Kevin Durant if you want to go over to Phoenix or Miami you're probably going to lose a lot, a good amount of those players on your on that team because that's exactly what the Nets should be asking for is some of those good young players on that roster on both teams as well as first round picks and multiple of them. And that goes the same thing for Kyrie Irving. You want to go over play in LA? You want to play with LeBron James again? <laughs> then you can go over there and you're pretty much going to lose some of those players that you have over there and you're going to go play with a 37 slash 38 year old LeBron James who might be starting to finally go on the downside of his career as well as an Anthony Davis that has had issues staying on the court and with pretty much nothing else on the team except older players because they can't sign everybody because they have LeBron James and Anthony Davis making such huge money and it coupled in with what you're probably going to be asking for. So right now you guys don't have leverage. You guys signed to be with Brooklyn. And Joe Sy and Sean Marks grow a set right now. Don't trade these guys because they want to be out of here and because you're just sick and tired of dealing with them. They signed contracts to be here, and especially Kevin Durant, who signed an extension. And Kyrie Irving opted in to be with the Brooklyn Nets because he wanted to play near his home in New Jersey. Just because these guys request to not be here because they want to be put on a winning team don't do it because you feel like you have to. Do it. The only reason you would trade Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant is because you want to get the most value for them. And that means getting as much young talent and draft picks as you can for these guys. And if you feel like you're just sick and tired of these guys being on your roster because you just think they're going to be a malcontent going forward, then go to Phoenix, go to Miami, or hell, go to another team like maybe even Sacramento or whoever it is that have the young assets and draft picks to make it happen. Send Kevin Durant to a team that you know he might not like because he has zero leverage. And Kyrie Irving. You don't have to force these guys to go where they want to go because you just don't want to deal with them anymore. You're the owner. Sean Marks. You're the GM. They have no leverage, Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving. Keep them around on this roster and you try to build on a potential championship team with a hope with a returning Ben Simmons you brought in TJ uh, Warren a good player when he's healthy maybe you can get something like you did with Kevin what you did with a uh, D 
D'Angelo Russell, Karis LeVert, Jared Allen, Spencer Dinwiddie, guys that had no value, but you were able to get the most out of them, and you were able to get a high reward for these guys that had zero value coming in when you signed or traded for them. That's where you have the TJ Warner, TJ Warren, and an Ed Sumner. Two guys that had injury issues in Indiana and are coming onto the Brooklyn Nets with low value, but you could maybe get a high reward. You still have Joe Harris on this roster if you don't trade him. He's still a good three-point shooter. You re-signed Patty Mills. You re-signed Nick Claxton. Two more key role players for this team. You have Cam Thomas. You have Adonis Williams. You have Deron Sharp. You have David Duke. You have Kessler Edwards. Some young players you can maybe work with as core reserve guys on this team. There's no reason why you can't still find a way to win with this Brooklyn Nets roster and you just continue to try to find other good young core players that if Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving reverse course and decide to stick it out with the Nets going into the 2022-2023 season that you can't find a way to win with this roster. Because Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving are two of the best players in the NBA. And Irving and Durant, you guys signed to be here. You guys inked the pen you guys put the pen to the paper. You inked the contracts to stay with Brooklyn. Enough with this. Enough with it, seriously. I'm tired of this. Okay? Sean Marks, Joe Sy, don't just trade these guys for the sake of trading them. Keep them on the roster, and hopefully you can try to go into the season and try to eventually... Put together a roster and a team that can maybe win a championship or compete for a championship at least because this squad still has talent when healthy. And that's the key question when these guys are healthy. Can they be able to put together a championship type team? So I'm not trading Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving just for the sake of trading them unless you're getting a haul back for both these guys, especially for Kevin Durant. I had to put together this video because I'm getting tired of the Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving trade nonsense all over the place. I'm not trading these guys unless you can get the absolute most value for them, and that's including two or three good young all-star caliber or already all-star players, as well as multiple first-round picks for these guys. Otherwise, you're running it back and seeing what this team can give you in 2022-2023 with Kyrie Irving, Kevin Durant, a hopefully healthy Ben Simmons, Joe Harris, a good core of young players, TJ Warren and Ed Sumner on high upside, and other players on this team going forward. So I thank you very much. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your hump day Wednesday. And hopefully this Brooklyn Nets nonsense will stop already. Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving will rescind these nonsensical trade requests that they put out there and we can run it back and see what this team could bring this fan base for the 2022-2023 season. Thank you very much. Enjoy your Wednesday. Have a great day.